you would like to get a head start on entering your budgets for the next fiscal year, the NYP options in a probe can be used before closing out the current fiscal year. After entering next year proposed amounts, they will appear in the next fiscal year proposed field on the budget and revenue accounts. Then when adjust is run for fiscal year end, the next fiscal year proposed amounts are moved into the initial budget or initial revenue estimate fields. The NYP mass option will update amounts on the next year proposed fields. Only those accounts with an active status will be updated. So I'm going to access the NYP mass program. And the first thing it's going to ask you is whether you want to update budget accounts or revenue accounts. So I'll go ahead and select budget accounts. And then just looking at the screen, you'll notice there on the right hand side that I can enter up to five wildcards or ranges. So this is just screen one of two. So if I page down, I'm also going to have an additional five. So I have up to ten wildcards or ranges to enter. I'm going to page back up to the first screen. So reading left to right then, um, the first thing it's going to ask me then is what do I want to base my calculations on? And if I use the help key, it's going to bring up my options. So there are six options to choose from when selecting a budget accounts. The first one, option A, is a percentage of fiscal year to date expendables. So this will require me to enter in a percentage of the current fiscal year to date expendable figure in the percent field. So if I want my next year proposed amounts to be the same as this year's expendable figure, I would enter in 100%. If I wanted to inflate that by an, an additional 3%, instead I would enter in 103%. Also, if I want the figure to round up to the next whole dollar, I would enter in a yes in the round prompt. If I choose to calculate based on percentage of fiscal year to date expenditures, I would choose option B. And again, it requires a percentage, so if I enter in 100%, the current year's expended amount will become the next year's proposed amount. I can also round up the figure to the next whole dollar. Option C is fiscal year to date unencumbered balance. This doesn't require a percentage and no rounding is involved. The current year unencumbered balance on the budget account will become the next year proposed amount. This may be useful for grant accounts or for, for some type of projects. It will take whatever is left to spend in that budget account and it will eventually become the initial budget figure for the new year. Option D is percentage of fiscal year to date expendable minus prior fiscal year encumbrances. So similar to option A, requiring me to enter in a percentage of the current year's expendable figure. However, it will not include the amount in the prior carryover field. So if my budget account has an expendable figure of $1,500, 500 of that coming from carryover encumbrances, if I enter in a percentage of 100%, the next year proposed amount will be 1,000. It will not include the encumbrances from the previous year, and this figure can be rounded up as well. Percentage of fiscal year to date expendable minus current encumbrances, option E, will require, again, to enter a percentage of the current year's expendable figure. However, it will not include the current year encumbered figure. So if my budget account has an expendable figure of 1500 and I have a current encumbered amount of 1000 if I enter in 100%, the next year proposed amount will be 500 It will not include the current encumbrances. This figure as well can be rounded. Option F is current next year proposed minus current encumbrances. No rounding on this and no percentages are involved. Also, a next year proposed figure must already be on file for this account. This option will take the current next year proposed amount and subtract off any current encumbrances, updating the next year proposed amount. The recommended time to use this option may be directly before running adjust for the fiscal year. It will subtract off any current encumbered amount from the current next year proposed amount. I'm going to head and exit out of here. And just to talk about the wild cards and ranges again. So if I select an R and enter an R in the wild card range, it's going to require me to enter a beginning and ending account range. So anything that falls within that range will be included on my mass update. If I enter in a W, only the from account line is going to be used. Any accounts matching the wild card will be selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of here 
and I'm going to talk go back into NYP Mass and talk about the budget account or the, I'm sorry the revenue account and talk about how to what it gets calculated based on so I'm going to hit my F7 key again and, the, and there's only three options when you choose to select revenue accounts. The first option A is a percentage of fiscal year to date receivables. Again, it's requiring me to enter in a percentage of the current fiscal year to date receivable figure. So if I enter in 100%, the current year's receivable figure on the selected revenue accounts will become the next year proposed. And I can round that one up. Option B, percentage of fiscal year to date receipts. So it's requiring a percentage of the current fiscal year to date actual received figure. If I enter in 100%, the current year's actual received amount will become the next year proposed amount. And this figure too can be rounded up. Option C, fiscal year to date balance receivable. No percentage or rounding is involved in this one. The current year's receivable balance on the revenue account will become the next year proposed. Again, this may be useful for grants and projects. It will take whatever is anticipated to be received and it will become the initial revenue figure for the new year. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here and go back and go back into NYP Mass back to the budget option. So for my example here, what I'm planning on doing is mass updating all accounts with an OPU of 002 for high school activities, but I am not including any 100 or 200 object codes. So you'll see there in my, I have entered in a range and I'm putting in from the 400 all the way to the 900 object codes. So once I have this all, and then you'll notice too, if I go back here, I'm calculating based on A, which is the expendable figure, and I'm doing 100% of the current year's expendable. I'm not rounding this up, so I, I want to have the cents included. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this. And it tells me that it's updated. And you notice that um, when I exit out, there is no text file or, or any output file that gets created. So at this point, I really want to go in and check to make sure that those next year proposed figures um, got increased. So I'm going to go ahead and run a bud work to check that out. And um, I'm going to page down and make sure that it contains the same accounts that I selected in NYP Mass. And again, I have my 300 funds with an OPU of 002, and notice that I've excluded the 100s and 200s. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this. And one thing I notice right right away is it says my next year proposed grand total is $177,092.77. So that tells me right then that the amounts did get updated. And again, if I just want to confirm that, I can look through the report. And if you could look off to the right hand side, you're going to see the next year proposed amount. So again, if I page down and go down to the bottom here, I'm going to see again my total of the $177,000 figure. So if you needed to make changes, let's say you took a look at these and maybe you were way off and you just kind of want to start over on the whole thing, you could go back into the NYP INI option, the initialize option, clear out the next year proposed figures for this account range and rerun NYP Mass. Um, if there's only a, maybe a couple that you need to change, the next year proposed field is a modifiable field on the budget and revenue count. So you could go into that specific account and modify the next year proposed amount.